to talk about the area of Kingstown, right? We actually have other videos on our channel about Kingstown. It is our favorite community, it obviously. Is. We're constantly trying um, to sell people to the Kingstown area. We love the Kingstown we area. We love it. I might as well just say this right now. When you're working with us, you're going to have a great time. You will. Uh, I'm super hilarious. Super, and super hilarious. Super, this is what this guy is. Super, he is super hilarious. Super hilarious. He's all right. Be just a, a wonderful experience and you're going to want to live near me right it, it's just what it, it's just i'm just telling you the <laughs> truth you're going to want to live near me we do fun things we have events at our house we do have events at our home i run a dad's group in the area so if you're a dad holla at me kingston is just a great place to live but not just because we live here and not because we'll be your neighbors and because i frequently bake for our neighbors those that's not the reason right. to move to kingstown I'm, there yes. are other reasons outside of the walkers that's true to move to kingstown kingstown is one of the larger planned communities in northern virginia what i like most about it is that it really is in my opinion the type of neighborhood that once you get here you don't have to leave so we have all of the creature comforts we do have an hoa our hoa has all the amenities you'd expect actually we have the amenities that a lot of HOAs don't have because our HOA doesn't just include like snow and trash pickup. We actually have great amenities. So we have two swimming pools, a couple of tennis courts, basketball courts, sand volleyball. We have walking paths off the wazoo. And there's always stuff going on at our community center. We have two fitness centers, loads of exercise classes. My husband and kids have taken tennis lessons. They're cooking courses at our association. So it's just always stuff to do within the association. But then on top of that, we have all of the creature comforts. So we have the Kingstown Town Center, which is like all of the shopping you would want to do. So it has, you know, the big box stores. Abraham's pulling up the map here. We have like the TJ Maxx and the Home Goods. A few blocks down the road, we have a Home Sense also in the community. We have a World Market. When it comes to supermarkets, we have pretty much everything. We have an Amazon Fresh that opened earlier this year. We have Wegmans just a few blocks down the road. We have a Wegmans. Oh, we love Wegmans. We have a legitimate Wegmans, yes. right? So not everybody has a Wegmans. That's why you want to live in Kingstown. Because you can get everything you need and also just the Wegmans app. Mwah. Yes. Um, but you can get everything you need. It's really the type of community, like once you get here at the end of the day, like you don't have to leave again. Like you don't have to leave the Kingstown area. Abraham and I were actually doing a video tour a few weeks ago for another community. And one of our friends is a couple. They live in Fairfax Station. And I was like, do you know that if they don't have, have an onion, they still have to go to Kingstown? That's the nearest supermarket to get an onion? Like I'm just so used to, and I'm in the middle of cooking and I call down to Abraham like, say, bro, I need you to go pick up an onion. That's true, right? that's true. And so I just feel like we have all of the creature comforts, movie theater, every type of restaurant you can imagine, whether it's from Thai to burgers, Japanese food, Indian, everything. And all of the casual, like fast casual places that people like Panera, Cava, La Madeleine's. Like, so we pretty much have like a little bit of everything. I would say as far as legitimate restaurants, right? Mm -hmm. um, so we have Burton's. Mm -hmm. We also have Osteria. Manzano. Manzano. That's a, mm -hmm. a great Italian restaurant. Mm -hmm. we just Fresh got, made pasta there. Yep. We just got Kitchen Cray, which is going to be a- Kind of like a soul food, American soul or Southern style seafood yes. restaurant. And then the last place we have, we have Bonefish Grill. We have a Bonefish uh, Grill here as well. So mm -hmm. if you're thinking about like date night restaurants, we have four just within In Kingstown, our, yeah. our area. So it's like no matter what your feel is, like once you get to Kingstown Friday evening after work, like you can hang out in this area all weekend. You can do your errands. You can head to the supermarket. You can relax at the pool, play some tennis, like everything that you will want to do is here in Kingstown. Take a breath. All right. I mean, Please. I just like it over here, right? I know you um, do. I know you do. And to briefly touch on, we have two high schools in the area. I'm actually not going to talk about radios. I'm just going to let you know a little bit about each of them. So we have two high schools. So the way schools work here in Fairfax County, we have pyramids with the high school at the top, middle school in the middle, and then a couple of elementary schools on the lower level. For the most part, if you live in Kingstown, your students or your children would be zoned to go to Hayfield Secondary. But there is a part in the North Village of Kingstown that goes to Edison High. And so I mentioned both of those schools. Overall with ratings, when you look them up, you'll see they're both kind of middle of the pack schools as far as ratings go. Edison does have an IB program, our International Baccalaureate program. And so a lot of parents like that about Edison. Also, if your student is on the AP track, if they're an advanced placement for elementary school, then they would actually have the option to go through the Edison pyramid versus going through the uh, Hayfield Secondary Pyramid. Right. And we have three elementary schools that service the Greater Kingstown area. And that's going to be Island Creek, which is the most highly rated. 
Lane Elementary, and then Hayfield Secondary, which are pretty much on par with one another. Kingstown is also right down the street from Lee District Rec Center. So we have a rec center right down the street. Kingstown proper, so that's what we're talking about right now, the actual HOA. Mm -hmm. We have two gyms. Well, I know you said mm -hmm. that we have two gyms, but I, I want to make sure that, that people understand. We have two legitimate gyms where you won't have to sign up for a gym uh, membership. A gym membership. It's true. Now there is a LA Fitness Center right next to the Wegmans uh, mm -hmm. complex. And then there's also uh, Anytime Fitness in the, uh, where Amazon uh, Fresh, Amazon Fresh is. and mm -hmm. HomeSense is. There's a Planet Fitness. That Planet opened, Fitness. Yeah, right? that opened during the pandemic, I think. So yeah. you have those three. And then if you're fancy, right? If you feel fancy, right? If, you're, if your budget allows it. There's also a place in Springfield called St. James. I think it's the St. James, actually. Yes, don't, that's how fancy. Don't get it, it twisted. Like that, that place, it will leave your pockets a little thin. Mm -hmm. But they have beautiful amenities. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a water park. There's a state of the art, art art gym. There's all kind of stuff there. I'm still trying to get the misses to agree to let me join. But right. as he already said, our fitness center has everything you need. Yes, yeah, so see, that's the problem with our yeah, fitness center. Our it's, fitness it's center already has everything you center. need. There's no reason for you to go to the St. James. In addition to this, and I don't know if Crystal mentioned this, but the, the Franconia Springfield Metro Station is within walking distance to the south part of Kingstown. So I guess that's the western part of the Kingstown area. And then to the northern part of the Kingstown area, you'll have to drive. But then we have the Van Dorn Metro stop, right? Mm -hmm. So the Kingstown area actually has two metro stops that make it super convenient to get to work. Mm -hmm. That's why a lot of military personnel like to live in this area because we don't necessarily see a lot of people working at Fort Belvoir living here, but we do see a lot of people that go to the Pentagon mm -hmm. live in the Kingstown area. That's true. I think mean, we have a fair number of people at Belvoir, but for the most part, a lot of our friends and clients who are military in the area work at the Pentagon. And I think that the reason why we see a lot of Pentagon personnel working here is because if you're stationed at the Pentagon, usually your BAH is a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. And so like the Pentagon isn't gonna be like your first station, whereas Fort Belvoir could be your first station, right? Well, but the BAH is the same for both because it's based on the area. Right, well, mm -hmm. what I'm, I'm just saying, like as far as like the uh, higher level personnel are mm -hmm. going to be at the Pentagon. Also, the Pentagon is just such a large, massive beast of a place. Another thing about Kingstown that I know Crystal mentioned, we have the tennis courts, we have all these rec centers. There's also an active HOA. Mm -hmm. Now, HOAs, you know, depending on how you feel about them, right, you know, they could be horrible, mm -hmm. they could be great. I think that the Kingstown HOA is a wonderfully ran institution mm -hmm. just because they, our landscaping is, yes. it, we have <laughs> wonderful landscaping. And I, I know what you're thinking to yourself, right? Abraham, it's just landscaping. I don't eat grass. I know you don't. But it's a beautiful, it's just a beautiful area mm -hmm. as far as like tree trimmings, the, the grass is constantly cut, the, the streets are well maintained. Yes, I feel like our streets are repaved, kid you not, every single year. Yeah, absolutely. Like, I think, is it every year or is it every other? I don't know, it's just a lot. It's frequent. And we appreciate it, especially coming from New Orleans because we feel like, the, I feel like in the 29 years I lived in New Orleans, the streets were never repaved the entire time we were there. Right, right. <laughs> like, I can't so, remember if that ever happened. I think it's a well ran uh, HOA. Also, mm -hmm. They do a good job of staying on top of owners and maintaining their properties as well. So you don't necessarily have to get involved with that process if your neighbor isn't cutting their grass or if they're not maintaining their property that well. So I think that the HOA does a great job. They're very responsive. So HOAs, you know, so we get sometimes we get requests where people say they don't want to live in an HOA. I think that the Kingstown HOA is unique in the sense that we have almost like country club style amenities. Mm -hmm for not that much of an increase in HOA fees. Like, yeah. It's a very reasonable HOA fee. Absolutely, I agree it's a reasonable HOA fee because as someone who keeps track of that for us, oftentimes I'm surprised by how much people pay in other associations with no amenities. Yeah. For just snow and trash. Yes. Right, and it, it's ridiculous actually, so yeah. yeah. We live in the south part of Kingstown, or South Village, south right? Village. So uh -huh. the Kingstown area is broken up into three villages. South, Middle, and North. South Village is on the west side. The North Village is on the eastern side of the Kingstown area. On the south side of the, or the South Village, most of the, the kids go to Lane Elementary School and they're also uh, assigned to the Hayfield uh, Secondary uh, School. Our kids walk to school. Yes. The, walking, our kids walking to school was super important to me mm -hmm. because I knew that if my kids walk to school, then all of their friends live around the neighborhood, right? Mm -hmm. And so that means that they will go to school, 
They'll be in class with some kids that they like or just know, and then they would walk home with those individuals. They would play with those individuals. So we just love the Kingstown area for that vibe because yes. our kids are also getting a great experience in Kingstown, mm -hmm. which isn't the same in other areas where either your kid has to catch a bus mm -hmm. or the school is super far. Yeah, and I feel like we have a great community. Even online, we have, our community has a couple of Facebook groups and there's always stuff with neighbors interacting and doing things together. So it's just a really great community. Our family has loved it the entire time we've been here. If you watch a few of these videos, you know every time we've even thought about leaving Kingstown, we just haven't been able to pull the trigger. We just really love this area. Right, we keep on coming back to Kingstown. Yeah, every time, yep. every time. My name is Abraham Walker. This is Crystal Walker. And we make up the Ask A Walker real estate team. We focus on helping individuals like yourself, either moving to the Northern Virginia area, moving around the Northern Virginia area, or selling your property. If you have any questions for us, the best way to get in touch with us is to click the link in the description and fill out the perfect home questionnaire. It's just a few questions that you'll answer and then we'll schedule a time to meet online via Zoom. If you need immediate assistance, our contact information is gonna be right here in the little ticker box or we'll also put our phone number and email address here. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you on the next video. Peace.